All right, guys, uh, welcome to your first lesson with Microsoft Excel. Um, it's a big, scary program, and we're going to take it very slow. And today, we're going to kind of have fun. Uh, we're going to do something called Excel Pixel Art. It's one of my favorite lessons. Um, and in this lesson, the majority of the lesson is that we're going to um, learn how to modify rows and columns, uh, shrink them down, and make them larger. Uh, and basically, we're going to do a little bit of coloring um, by using the paint bucket. And uh, we're going to do some Excel pixel art. It's a thing. I didn't make this up. All right. So let's kind of get into it. And the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and go and open up Excel. When you go and open up Excel 2016, uh, you're going to get some options here. Do you want to use a template or do you want to use a blank workbook? And most of the time you're going to use a blank workbook. Templates are great. Uh, but for this project, we're going to use a blank workbook. All right. So notice this is a, this is what's called a workbook. All right. There's a difference between a workbook and a worksheet. Down here, you'll see that this is called sheet number one. All right. Sheet number one can be renamed and you can call it whatever you want. And you can add another sheet right here. And we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, and I know I'm kind of breaking apart from your uh, the um, order of your directions here with Microsoft Excel lesson one. Um, but in the long run, we're going to get the whole thing done today. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. Um, you're going to go ahead and add a new sheet down here and you're going to see sheet one, sheet two. Uh, for sheet one, we're going to right click and we're going to rename this thing and we're going to say Mario. All right. For sheet two, we're going to rename this one student choice. All right. And in the long run, what we're going to do is just kind of get used to Excel and how Excel actually works uh, by modifying rows and columns and getting used to our um, cursors. Notice how in Excel right now, my cursor is a chubby white cross. All right. And I like to say it like that because there's uh, different crosses in Excel. All right. You've got the chubby white cross. The chubby white cross, all it does is select. This is your selection tool. It does nothing else for you. Um, once you have something selected, if you hover over the side of it, notice how my chubby white cross now turns to a skinny black cross. That skinny black cross is called my fill cross or my fill handle. All right. I'm going to go ahead and pull that down. And what it does is it copies everything from one cell into the cells below it. So if I have Brittany in one cell and I click in here and I use the fill handle to pull it down, it's going to copy the word Brittany to all of the cells below it. You can also pull it to the side. Um, you can pull it kind of anywhere you want and it will fill the cells wherever you want, all right? So this is your copy handle. Uh, uh, it comes in handy. Um, the skinny black cross does come in handy. All right, now if I wanna move something, um, I'm gonna go ahead and select it with my white cross. I'm gonna hover over the border of my selection and now notice how my cursor turns into a four-pronged arrow. I can now click and drag and I can move those contents of those cells, all right? And let's kind of talk about cells real quick in Microsoft Excel, all right? Um, what you're doing when we uh, work with cells, let me undo this a few times. What we're doing when we work with cells is that we're making a selection of either a cell or a cell range, all right? Um, so this is called cell A1, all right? Uh, you start off in your columns and you say, all right, this cell is in column A, and then you go down and it's in row one. All right, this would actually be H9. So we start off in column H and then we go down to row nine. And that's how we identify cells in Microsoft Excel. So that would be H9. Let's do a cell range, all right? A cell range would look something like this, all right? And in a cell range, you always wanna start with the first cell in the upper left-hand corner and you wanna end in the bottom right-hand corner cell. So this cell right here, is A10, so my cell range for this one would look something like this, A10. Now if our cell range, I think it was like this, I shouldn't have done away with it. If this is our cell range, and this is our first cell, which is A10, I'm gonna identify the rest of the cell range by finding the bottom right-hand corner cell, which is G16. So this cell range is A10 to G16, and here's how you would write it, all right? A10 colon G16. That means that's this cell all the way over to G and all the way down to 16. And that's the cell range. You'll always see a cell range written like this, okay, with a colon in between. All right, so let's kind of get into this. Let's do some pixel art here because we got our Mario worksheet and we got our student choice worksheet. The first thing I want to do is go ahead and shrink down my rows and columns. 
So notice this little thing right here in the upper corner, right in between um, column A and row one. You have this little downward or corner diagonal facing arrow. Click that. What it does is it selects every cell in the entire worksheet. All right. And once you do that, you can right click on either the column letter or the row number. So I'm going to right click on the column letter. And it doesn't matter which column letter I go to because I'm going to modify all of my column widths to one, one inch. And that's going to shrink everything down to nice little squares. I'm trying to make this thing look like pixels um, so that I can kind of color it in and make pixel art. So now I'm going to right click on the row number and I'm going to say modify row height. All right. And my row height for pixel art should be 10. So now my entire worksheet is modified into rows and columns, all right? For the Mario project, what I'm gonna do is grab the Mario picture from my Classcraft account here. You can kind of see it right here. Um, I'm just gonna use my snipping tool to copy it real quick, because I wanna paste it right into my Excel spreadsheet. Boom, copy, don't save. And I'm gonna paste it right in here so that I can kind of have something to look at, all right? So there's my actual pixel art that I'm going to try to recreate. So notice uh, all I'm going to do is kind of count pixels and kind of color and try to recreate this as close as I can. And as I do this, hopefully I'm kind of getting used to column width, row height, and I'm going to get used to this little paint bucket icon and a shortcut on my keyboard, which is the F4 key. So let's start by doing this little stripe of red right here on his hat. We got one, two, three, four, five pixels across. So I'm going to go ahead and say one, I'm going to use my white cross, two, three, four, five pixels across, and I'm going to go ahead and color that red. Yeah, that's pretty close. If you can't find the exact color, you can go to more colors here, and you can try to pick uh, the correct red color here, all right? Kind of like that. All right, so the row below it, if I'm just kind of uh, keeping even, actually right here, I should do these three right here because that's his hand. I'm going to skip two. And then right here, I'm going to go ahead and color in these three, and it's going to be kind of a peach color. All right. Kind of like that. That might be a little too light, but I can change it later. Um, and let's go ahead and do this row, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pixels across. All right. I'm going to start right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pixels across. And I'm going to go ahead and color that red. All right. Um, and if you want to go ahead and do all the red in your picture, that's probably the fastest way to do it. Notice how I have another row of red right here that starts right after this square. Here's the quickest way to do it. I can go ahead and press the F4 key on my keyboard, and it's going to repeat the last thing that I did. All right, so if the last thing that I did was color red, it's going to fill it red. If the last thing I did was peach, it's going to fill it peach. So this isn't a shortcut for fill. It's a shortcut for the last thing that you did in Excel. So if the last thing you did was delete something in Excel, F4 is now a shortcut for the delete key. All right, so notice now I have these three squares right here. I've got two more going down right here. I'm going to use my F4 key, and then I've got one more right here. So I've pretty much got all this red part from my Mario. I can go ahead and come down here and paint this one red, paint the two right here red, and you can see how um, the speed of the actual project picks up greatly with that F4 key. All right. Um, so basically what you guys are doing is coloring. Now when you get to the student choice document here, again, you're going to shrink down your rows and columns. You're going to go ahead and Google Excel pixel art. And you're going to see what comes up when you guys look at Excel pixel art. And you can see here, there's tons and tons of pixel art. Please don't have anything inappropriate. Uh, so every now and then, occasionally, you'll get somebody that makes a pretty crude piece of pixel art. That one's pretty cool. Um, so what you're going to do for the student choice one is you're going to pick anything you want. Maybe this Jigglypuff would be a good one to do. Um, and you're going to try to recreate your own student choice piece of pixel art. All right. In the end, guys, this whole lesson is about rows and columns. It's about modifying rows and columns, getting used to your Excel cursors. And again, make sure you guys realize before you start erasing mistakes that you can actually move pixels 
uh, if you do make a mistake and you need to scooch it off to the side, you can um, move it. If you're too close to the edge, you can uh, make a selection of your entire thing and just kind of scoot it over and give yourself some more room there. Um, get used to Excel. Get used to your cursors, uh, first of all. All right. And if you do need to color downward, you can just pull it down like that. Remember your fill handles. Um, so in this entire lesson, we went through workbooks. This entire thing is called a workbook. Uh, down here at the bottom, you can have many worksheets within one workbook. Um, and make sure you know that F4 is a shortcut for the last thing that you did in Excel. All right. We also have our uh, fill handles. We have the uh, or the selection crosses. We have the chubby white cross that does our selections for us. We have the actual fill handle that will pull it down and copy things for us. And then we actually have the move handle, the four pronged move handle, which will move our entire design over. All right. So get used to Excel. This should be kind of a fun lesson, um, but kind of watch the time a little bit. We don't have a whole lot of time. So pick a nice, easy piece of pixel art to create. It should be more difficult than Mario, um, but not so difficult that it's going to take you an entire week. To do. All right. And have fun with this one.